some electronegativity values of some atoms. They, and they give you some background information, letting you know that if you're higher than 1.67 or 1.7, it's going to be ionic. We know from trends, as you go across the periodic table, what happens to electronegativity? It increases. It increases. And as you go down, it decreases. decreases. So our largest difference is going to be between the right-hand top corner and the bottom left-hand corner. That's going to be our biggest difference. So the answer will be C. Next one. The mass of an object was recorded as 9.93, 9.90, and 10.02 using an electronic analytical balance. What is the average of these three masses expressed in significant figures? G. 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 Yes. yes. When we add significant figures, as we if we add, we are looking at decimal places. Okay. If we had something over here like a five, then we would round this up to six. Okay. Okay. We did not have that, so we were in significant. Yeah. Next one: radioactive iodine. 131 has a half life of eight days. The amount of 200 grams sample left after 32 days would be? B. Explain, please. We are starting with 200 grams. Our first half life. If it goes through the first half life, eight days, we will be left with half that amount, which is 100. After another eight days, for a total of 16 days, we will be left with 50. After another, and, huh? What's 131? Is, is that just the name? That's yeah. just the name. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. After another eight days, for a total of 24, we'd be left with 25. And after another eight days, for a total of 32, we, we would be left with 12.5 grams. Didn't do my math right. Okay. Everybody see that one? Next question. 3.5 grams. The hydrogen sulfide are used in the above reaction. What is the theoretical yield of water in grams? What, well, how are we do solving this? I don't know. No idea. Are we doing dimensional analysis? Yeah, dimensional analysis. What is our given? What are we starting with? 3.5 grams H2S. What do I bring down? Grams of H2S. What am I first converting it to? Where do I find the numbers? Mole to gram. Where do I find that number? Periodic table. I've got two atoms of hydrogen and a molar mass of approximately one. Sulfur, I've got one atom at a molar mass of approximately 32. So I'm going to have a total molar mass of 34. Am I there yet? No. Bring down moles of H2S. And what conversion am I going to do here? Moles mole. to mole. Moles to mole. H2O. And where do I find these numbers? In the periodic balance. In the okay. balance. Mole to mole, you find in the balance equation. So it would be two to two. Okay. Bring down moles of H2O, and what am I going to convert that to? Uh, Grams of dang it. And one mole, I have two atoms of hydrogen and a molar mass of one. One of oxygen and a molar mass of sixteen. For a total of 18. Whoops. Yes. Right. Twos cancel out, so you've got 3.5 times 18 divided by 34. All right, and that should give you 
what? Thank you. 